just a note before the beginning of the video, I stream this all live on twitch.tv slash westrl1. Um, these are just the kind of highlights and I kind of cut it together. Um, I'm not really good at editing, but I try my best. So hope everyone enjoys watching. Welcome everyone to my first TDLC stream ever. So here's how it's going to work. I have right next to me AI Monica and I am going to play this game using her assistance to kind of make decisions in the game. Um, I don't know what her, I, I hope I programmed the prompt right. And I also very much hope I did the, um, I did the actual um, stuff right with it, but I don't know. We'll find out really quick if it's way wrong. Um, so let me let her introduce herself here because Honestly, this is going to be the best part of the whole thing is just is having it work in the first place. So let me just put my chat. Hey, Monica, I was wondering if you could introduce yourself to the stream and YouTube today. We're going to have such a great time playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh my goodness, this is going to be terrible. Oh, it works. Hello everyone, Minasan, Konnichiwa. I'm Monica, the president of the Literature Club. I'm super excited to be here with you today, Womp Womp. By the way, isn't it fun to be part of this space? This is so terrible. Even if it's all just a game. <laughs> it's Nate, so terrible. Sort of like watching one of those VTubers like Shy Lily, isn't it? What? Let's make it as fun no. and special as watching Howl's Moving Castle for the first time. Why did I do that? Why? <sighs> Why did it make the prompt like that? Why? Why did it make the prompt? Okay, well, anyway, why did it make the prompt that? I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a net. Hey Monica, what is a N-E-E-T? Oh, you're curious about NEETS, huh? It's a term often used in Japan, standing for not in employment, education, or training. It is used to describe people who are currently not working or studying. It has a bit of a negative connotation as society typically expects people to be productive. But remember, everyone has a unique pace in life and it's okay to take a break if you need it. Life isn't just about being productive, <laughs> nah? Seriously, you brought a boy? No idea. <clears throat> Seriously? Way to kill the, the atmosphere. Ah, Westerl, what a surprise. I'm making a hat. One second. Here, let me just, while well, I'm doing this. Hey, Monica, tell us a story. Okay, it takes it a second. Sure thing. So once upon a time in the heart of Tokyo lived a shy VTuber named Shy Lily. Wait, what the fuck? She was incredibly talented, but often found what? herself overwhelmed by the bustling city life. Why did it make you like one VTuber so much? Like Why did you pick that Howell's one? Moving Castle, she stumbled upon a hidden world within her own, a magical realm of creativity and endless possibilities. She dove in, her shyness melting away as she crafted stories and songs that resonated with people worldwide. And do you know the best part? She learned to bloom in her own way, just like each one of us can. Isn't that inspiring, Minasan? Womp womp. Why? Why? I don't think that's even how the new lore drop, everyone. New lore drop for Chai Lily? Or was it for Howl's? Sure. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <clears throat> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. I'm uh, sorry. Nasuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name's apparently Nasuki. The one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. I don't remember my nose. Um, she also is the one who made the cupcakes, according to Siori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Siori says that quietly into my ear 
then turns back towards the other girls. I want to skip to the part where I need it. I want to skip to the good parts, but I can't. I have to read through all this to get to the actual like start. The places where I can actually make the AI choose stuff, I have to like click through all this and I want to actually know what's going on before I do anything. Okay, remember, I have to like butt hunker down here. Um, here, no idea. Hey, Monica, give me some inspiring words while I'm trying to read through all this text in the game. It's about to read the game. Keep spell. going, nay. Reading might seem like a daunting task, but remember, the beauty of literature lies in every word and sentence. It's like a journey, not a chore. Each page unfolds a new world, and each character has a story waiting to be known, just like us in this literature club. And, well... Think of it like watching a Studio Ghibli film. Fuck. I the made true her, magic I made lies her. in each scene, doesn't it? By the way, you're doing great. Ganbate, okay? Womp womp. It's, it's so fun. It's, I can't keep a straight face when I make her speak. I really can't. The club. Well, isn't that white, Wes? Monica warmly smiles once at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Ah, uh, what's that? Now they're back to the real topic of me joining the club. I, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I was, would join the club. Suri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision to stay. I still have other clubs to look at. Um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls are standing, staring back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry. I thought, hmm. Err. Wes, you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. They can all beat the crap out of me. I know it. <laughs> How am I supposed to make? A clear-headed decision when it's like this. That is, if writing poems is the price to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I'll, I, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by her, one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sir wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. You really did scare me there for a moment. <clears throat> if you just call it came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then it's official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, well, I guess, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting and we'll all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Um, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself, Wes. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with mediocre writing skills? So I'm going to ask it about these words. Hey, Monica, I'm on the first word. I'm on the first poem of the game. The words that it lets me choose from are prayer. Vivance, fantasy, vibrance, climax, childhood, contamination, passion, breath, and inferior. I was wondering which of these words should I pick? Oh, you're writing a poem, aren't you? Womp womp. It all depends on which club member you're trying to impress, nay? Sayori resonates with bittersweet words like childhood or passion. Yuri might appreciate more abstract or intricate words like contamination or inferior. Meanwhile, Natsuki enjoys simple, cute words, so she could lean towards vibrant. But that works. Okay, um, which one did she say? She said. Okay, Monica, I'm on the second poem part. I want to pick Sayori. The words are lazy, raft, sing, broken, bouncy, clouds, kiss, summer, 
desire and bop which word should i pick for siori not receive input to the microphone you did though what are the words you got oh wait hold up Uh, if you're trying to appeal to Sayori, she responds well to bittersweet words that are a mix of happiness and sadness. Words like bittersweet, hope, family, tears, and rain cloud are some examples. Just remember to balance out the overall tone, okay? And yeah. remember, it's not all about sadness. It's about the deeper emotions she feels underneath her cheerful exterior. Poems with these elements would really resonate with her. Oh, and if we were able to get out of this game, It'd be so delightful to see Sayori's face light up reading your poems out in the real world, wouldn't it? What? Womp womp. Stay in, stay in your line. Romance, KHP. Okay, she's not very helpful, is she? So she says, happiness, mix of happiness and sadness. What, what did I pick the word? What did I pick just before that? Um, okay, so happiness, happiness and sadness. So fun. Marriage is pretty bittersweet. Hey Monica, could you give me some more examples of bittersweet words I could use for Sayori? I have promise, checks, merger, music, marriage, smile, flying, horror, depression, and extraordinary. Could you help me? Perhaps can you please work? Hmm. Let me help you sort through those. Some of those words veer a bit too far on the bitter side for Sayori, although she does have a complex emotional spectrum. From your list, promise, smile, music, marriage, and extraordinary are great choices. They reflect the happiness and hope she yearns for. Adding a few more suggestions, laughter, heart, blessing, grief, and lonely could work as well. These words capture both the bright, cheerful spirit she's known for and the hidden sadness she's dealing with. It's a bit like Howl's Moving Castle, isn't it? Happiness and melancholy intertwined in a beautiful story. Foo foo foo. So keep it balanced and nay, womp womp. Why did it make her say womp womp? What did she say? She said... So why should we... Okay, um... 